Talk of the Town is made possible by our great sponsor, Enterprise Bank. Hi, I'm George Cox. Welcome to this edition of Talk of the Town. As they say, April showers bring May flowers. It is so nice out and we hope you're out enjoying the weather. Coming up today, you can enjoy the weather at Pedal Power in the Bruce Freeman Rail Trail with Selby with John Schutz. We also have a Narrow Park update, Senior Center update, and tips on how you can protect yourself from email scams on this edition of Talk of the Town. Land Use and Economic Development Director Selby at Pedal Power, and he's going to be featured on Talk of the Town on a regular basis. Check it out. Hi, folks, this is Selby. I'm the Land Use and Economic Development Director for the Town of Acton, and I'm here with John. He's one of the owners of Pedal Power, uh, which has been here in Acton since 1977. So John, um, I know that you've got an event coming up on May 5th, uh, all about adaptive bikes. Could you tell us a little bit about the event? Yes, we're going to have uh, people come in with a variety of adaptive vehicles to demonstrate to the whole community, and particularly the adaptive, the people who would need adaptive bikes. Uh, what's available because some of them many of them who are serious already ha may have a vehicle that they could use but others will not so this will give those people a chance to see what's available and if something's going to be suitable for them tell us a little bit about the bike that this lady is looking at this is a semi recumbent adult tricycle so it's uh, it's doesn't need you to have any sense of balance it's extremely stable both getting on and off and also riding it and uh, it's just fun because you can go pretty fast and feel pretty safe. It looks a little wide. Is that a problem with our new rail trail? No, no. This is still a reasonable width. You could have, uh, you could a easily have another one coming the other way and pass. There's plenty of room for that. That's great. So, what's your, um, what kind of target market um, would look at uh, a tricycle like well, this? Well, I think you see one of the people here who might be appropriate for that, where they, they maybe are a little worried about their balance now and. Uh, they don't have to worry about it with this type of unit. This is Jane Barrett. She's a Concord resident um, who shops at Pedal Power. Uh, she came today to try out this trike. Jane, what do you think? Perfect. How old are you? 83. This sort of bike would allow you to stay on the um, on the bike paths and keep on pedaling uh, despite your despite your age. And I got a bad knee, and that's I can tell it's going to work. So you've got the Bruce Freeman Rail Trail right behind the store. That's exactly right, and uh, we've been working towards that. People in towns, and all the towns, have been working for, towards that for over 25 years, but it's here now. So it's been open for about a year. Have you seen an impact on your business since the rail trail opened? Uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. We have a lot more people uh, coming in, especially walk-ins. We'll have people come in as, on either a Saturday or Sunday, typically, who have uh, gotten a flat tire or something's broken or they can't, or something's jammed, and we try to help them and get them back so they can get back home. And sometimes we can just fix it outright, and other times we can fix it enough just to get them home, and then they can bring it in later. Now, have you seen the style of bicycle that people are coming to shop for at your store change since the rail trail opened? Yeah, I think a lot of the, that's actually a good question, but a lot of the difference is in uh, bikes that are more casual use bikes. So for example, things like the townies are more popular because uh, maybe that's not the best bike to go up and down steep hills, but you don't have steep hills on the rail trail. So it's perfect for the rail trail. So bikes of the little more casual use type uh, is where the addition is. So we still have all the high-end bikes and the uh, aficionado bikes, but we have more of the bikes for just regular people who don't think of themselves as riders. That's great. Now I understand with the adaptive program, you're going to start having some bikes that are available for rent for people with disabilities? Correct. That's correct. The whole program is brand new. There is a there is a committee 
a multi-town committee that's working on it, and uh, my wife Joyce is part of that committee, and she, uh, they're, they're working on uh, exactly how it's, it's going to function. We don't know yet, because we'll have to see what the demand is like and what kinds of things we can actually have available, because you can't cover every possible use. So we'll, that, that whole committee will partly make that decision. So if you're interested in seeing the adaptive bikes, come on down on May 5th Correct. from 1 to 5 o'clock. I believe that's right. And uh, this is Pedal Power at um, Great 176 Road. 176 Great Road. 176 Great Road. Across from Trader Joe's. Everybody knows Trader Joe's. <laughs> and just two doors down from a Dunkin' Donuts and right next to the new Alpha Cars. So folks, come on down to Pedal Power at 176 Great Road for all your biking needs. Trying is believing. For Acting TV, this is Selby. There are so many great events and classes going on at the Acton Recreation Center. Here's Maura Haberman to tell you more. I'm Maura Haberman from the Acton Recreation Department, and I would like to share with you some great information on various recreation programs, Nara Summer Camp, our fields and facilities, and exciting events coming up at Nara Park. Our mission statement is building a sense of community through quality recreation, and we work diligently to meet this mission. I'd like to start off with sharing information on our upcoming late spring and summer programs offered this coming May, featuring classes for all ages, ranging from arts to Zumba. Our programs are offered by highly talented and professional instructors who love what they do and take pride in working with Acton Recreation. We're very excited that we are now offering new programs at our Recreation Center located at 50 Audubon Drive in South Acton. Our Recreation Center has two large multi-purpose rooms and a commercial kitchen. The Rec Center also houses the Recreation Department staff, consisting of myself, Maura Haberman, the Event and Program Coordinator, Melissa Ryer, our Recreation Coordinator, and Mary Lou Rapucci, our Office Manager. We offer online registration for, ev for everything we do, including beach memberships this year. Our registration process is user-friendly and offers not only our staff and instructors a more simplistic process, you can find us easily at actinrec.com. There are a great variety of programs that you can sign up for. These include Red Cross Swim Lessons, they would be group lessons at Nara Park Beach, uh, Nara Summer Camp, Toddler and Me, Kitty Soccer, Super Soccer Stars, T-Ball, Basketball Clinics, Skateboarding for Beginners and Intermediate, Martial Arts, uh, Rock Climbing, Line Dancing, Ballroom Dancing, Bar for Fitness, Dance and um, Introduction to Golf, Zumba Fitness, CPR Classes, Adult Pickup Soccer, Back on Track Biking, Matt Pilates, forest bathing, birding, conservation trail walks, and specialized family art classes like Russian wooden toys. We're also offering some exciting bus trips like a boat cruise to see the Rhode Island lighthouses. It includes lunch, that's gonna be on June 15th, and Foster's Down East Clam Bake in Maine on July 25th. We're also going to have a Seven Seas Whale Watch trip on August 24th, and rounding out the summer with a trip to Martha's Vineyard on September 12th. You can register online for any of these trips and, or you can stop by our office and you can register in person. We'd love to see you. Nara Park will be coming to life when the beach opens for the season on Saturday, May 25th. We have an early bird special beach rate offered through May 31st for both Acton residents and non-residents. Nara Summer Camp is scheduled to start June 24th and will run with weekly themed sessions through the last week of August with the last day of camp, Friday, August 30th. Nara Camp offers a mini program for ages four and five year olds. And then there is a session for 13, uh, six to 13 year olds, which is our Nara Youth Program, as well as a counselor and training program for ages 14 and 15. We take a lot of pride in our camp and we've watched a lot of our past campers grow up and become our own Nara Park staff. We also have many great outdoor facilities at Nara Park to include our three winged picnic pavilion our bathhouse pavilion, as well as the patio tent area. If you want to secure your event location, we highly recommend that you get your request in as soon as possible, as dates are being requested daily and weekends do fill up quickly. Did you know that Acton has a campground? Acton Recreation oversees the permitting at Camp Acton. Camp Acton is located off Pope Road and has seven campsites that we can accommodate up to 10 people per site. Permits for Camp Acton, as well as picnic and field requests, can be found on the Town of Acton website, on the Recreation Department page, or you can apply online at actonrec.com. 
Acton Recreation is proud to work for you and we hope that you will enjoy all we have to offer. Please feel free to contact us via email at recreation at actonma.gov or call us at 978-929-6640. Press zero to get through directly to our office. Once again, visit actonrec.com to learn more about our programs and all that we have to offer. It's my pleasure to tell you about all the great things Acton Recreation has planned for you this summer. Thank you so much. The Acton Garden Club is holding their annual spring sale on May 18th. Whether you're a novice or a green thumb, here is some great information with Patrick Snow and the ladies of the Acton Garden Club. Hello, I'm Patrick Snow for Talk of the Town, and I'm sitting down here today with uh, Dorothy Marquis Omer and Polly Ginn. They are co-chairs of the Ways and Means Committee of the Acton Garden Club, and uh, the Garden Club is having its annual gigantic sale next month, uh, May 18th, um, from I believe 9 a.m. on. Um, to one. 9 a.m. to 1. Uh, first off, um, tell us a little bit about the sale. If someone's like never heard of this before, what's the Acton Garden Club sale? What is this all about? It is the prime money making event sponsored by the Garden Club and we offer perennials as well as annuals and they are all raised locally so you know that they are going to succeed in your garden as well as because they're all donated by members of the club. Mm, so these are all local plants that you're guaranteed if you're going to put this in your yard. And it's... we're not going to guarantee you <laughs> anything. But don't know if you have a green thumb or black, but most likely they will all be able to be successfully raised in your garden because they were raised in our gardens here in town. Oh, great. We are now Agricultural Zone 5B in Acton. So what does that mean? That means depending on how cold it gets in the winter, how hot it gets in the summer, uh, plants will survive in certain agricultural zones. The plants that we grow in our gardens here have been proven to grow in Zone 5B, which Acton is. Oh, cool. So if someone wants to come to the sale, is it, or, and they're maybe a little bit intimidated by this, it's their first time, would you say that like your um, the ideal person to come is an expert or a novice, or what if, what if someone comes and they've never done this before and they're just trying it out for the first time? They're coming to the right place, whether they're novice or expert. We have some fabulously knowledgeable horticulturists in the club, and they are the information people during the sale. They have special aprons on, and... Would that be these aprons? Theirs are actually fancier than ours. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> they really stand out. But these people will provide you with information about plants that are suitable for your site. If you come in and say, have a really shady garden that's dry, mm. they can lead you to plants that would be more happy in, in that kind of an environment. If you just have a general question about raising plants or starting a garden, they're the people to ask. They're extremely knowledgeable, very friendly, and they're there because we want to get these plants that are being grown by our own garden club members spread. Huh? We want them to survive and propagate. So what is, um, so who are the members of the garden club? Like who are all of these people? What is, what, why does someone come to be a part of the Acton Garden Club? Well, the garden club has uh, several subcommittees, I guess you would call them. There are people who are particularly interested in floral design, people who are mm. particularly interested in horticulture. Um, each person in the club basically is required to work on one of the um, civic service committees. Mm -hmm. We take care of the troughs in West Acton and in front of the town hall, and we maintain uh, gardens in, uh, in the town of Acton. For instance, Daffodil Run, the one mm. that's covered in thousands oh, yeah, of daffodils yeah. on t Route 27. Behind that is the Wildflower Garden, which is a little gem. Huh. We would welcome more people to wow. know about it. Cool. And so what are some of the other services that the Acton Garden Club provides for the community? All the planters that are in West Acton in front of the merchants, those are the ones that we maintain for changes out as oh, wow. through the year, depending upon the season. We also help with the herb garden, which is in the Arboretum right off of Taylor Road, oh, which yeah, is a yeah. short walking distance from Town Hall. Cool. So even if you've never heard of the Garden Club before, you've probably you've, seen you've probably seen years. the results of all the Garden Club's work. Mm -hmm. uh, that's awesome. Once again, that's uh, May 18th, uh, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and uh, it's for everyone. If you're beginning a garden for the first time and you have no idea what you're doing, um, you can <laughs> ask someone there how to where you should begin and what you should be thinking about. Or if you're an expert, you'll find probably 
anything you're looking for as far as something that will likely grow in a New England uh, backyard. Um, so, Polly, Dorothy, thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you at the sale. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. We'd like to remind you that this edition of Talk of the Town is brought to you by Enterprise Bank. We'd like to thank you very much for your sponsorship. And for more information, you can visit enterprisebanking.com. Coming up next, we have the Kids Camp News. Did you know we teach production classes? Four times a year, we have these special events. For more information, you can visit actontv.org. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm Mia. And I'm Esther, coming to you direct from Acting TV Studio with an Acting Boxborough News Update. First up, Acting Memorial Library. Mia? There's a lot going on at the Acton Memorial Library. First up, the library series of tech classes for beginners is back with an introduction to Libby by Overdrive on Thursday, April 25th, introduction to Excel on Thursday, May 2nd, intro to Microsoft Word Thursday, May 9th, and intro to PowerPoint Thursday, May 16th at 3.30. In exhibits news, libraries hosting two ongoing art exhibits this spring in the Meeting Room Gallery and Solarium. In the Gallery Room, you could find Navigation by Triangulation paintings by Irene Stapleford and exhibit through the end of April. In the Solarium, you could find Recarnation of the Old, a collection of mixed-media figurative sculpture by local artist Mary K. Mooney. Interested in joining a book club? The Library Book Group meets in the second floor conference room at 7.30 p.m. on the third Tuesday of the month. All are welcome. Copies of the books will be available at the circulation desk. For more information on this and all other library services, visit actonmemoriallibrary.org. Now let's turn it over to Dupika, Sarah, and Lucia for what's happening at AB Schools. Thanks, Mia, Claire, and Esther. Interested in seeing a live theater show this spring? There are a ton of options right here at Acton. That's right, starting with At the High School, where Senior Circus will be performing a Min Summer Night's Dream from April 26th to May 4th. When the feuding king and the queen of the fairies interfere in the couplings of mortal <laughs> magic and romance meet down in the Bay where a Midsummer Night's Dream comes to life in the jazz era in America Explodes. This popular comedy gets a new contemporary treatment when set in Art Deco world of Deep South mangroves and Spanish moss. And at Arch Hiker High, Stageworks will be performing two one-act plays this spring on May 9th and 10th. Ten Ways to Survive the Zombie Acopolex offers a plethora of helpful hints to surviving the zombie apocalypse from kung fu to just reasoning with them. And Bad Auditions by Bad Actors, the story of a casting director's miserable task of having one day to find enough community actors for a production of Romeo and Juliet. In community theater news, Theater 3 in Acton will be performing Sylvia this spring. It'll tell us the entertaining story of an exuberant lover dog who changes the lives of in a middle school aged couple. It's middle. the last show of the season, but sure to stay and keep up with the Theater 3 next year when they put on A Christmas Carol and James and the Giant Peach. Visit theater3.org for information on how to volunteer or even audition. And finally, on to Kaden, Yo-Yo, and Emma at Nara Park. Thanks. Spring is here, which means Nara Park's first summer events are just around the corner, starting with Chinese music and dance night, June 14th at 6.30 p.m. This celebration of Chinese performing arts will be free to the public, with snacks and beverages available for purchase. And the following week, June 22nd, kick off summer at the Nara Park Pond with the Beach Party Blast featuring Del Smart and Exit In. This fun summer event will run from noon to 4 p.m. with all the beach open to the public and food available for purchase. There will be more events in June too, including a classical music in the park and on June 26th and Led Zeppelin tribute band Cashmere on June 28th, all leading up to the annual 4th of July celebration at Nara. 
complete with music, food, games, and fireworks. And that's just the beginning of summer. For more details on all the fun happening at Nara Park this summer, visit actonma.gov. That's all the time we have for this attention of the news. Be safe out there and have a pleasant spring. There's always something happening at the Acton Senior Center. Here's Jackie Freeman of the COA board to tell you more. Hi, I'm Jackie Friedman from Acton's Council on Aging Board, here to tell you about just a few things going on at your senior center this month. Spring is finally here, and that means we can get outside and start enjoying ourselves. May is the perfect time for a round of golf. Quail Ridge Country Club only charges Acton Seniors $25 for nine holes. Men play Tuesday mornings. We have a new ladies league that will meet on Monday afternoons. Gardening is another tried and true springtime activity, which makes our garden therapy bulb workshop on May 15th, a great class to attend. Find out how you can actually improve your life through plants, nature, and horticultural activities. We're starting something new at the COA. Every Tuesday at 9.30, join us for a Hot Topics conversation. The group will spend an hour discussing issues of the day based on a common interest. The topics will be determined by the group. Our facilitator, is our storytelling instructor, Sal Lopez. If you're a senior who has a day job, we have a rare opportunity for you to visit the COA the evening of Tuesday, May 14th. That's when the Friends of the COA are holding a fundraiser called Wine and Paint. The name says it all, really. For $45, you can taste some of the great wine and hors d'oeuvres while you try your hand at painting. Instruction, supplies, and refreshments are all included. It sounds like a great night and we hope you can join us. We'd also like to bring to your attention a great living history performance about Hedy Lamar. On Friday, May 17th, one of the COA's favorite performers will introduce us to beloved actress of the 1940s who was also an important inventor who created groundbreaking technology that would become the forerunner to GPS, Wi-Fi, and all wireless telecommunications. It's the can't miss event of the month. These are just a few of the things going on this month. You can read all about the, the other events being offered in our monthly newsletter. The newsletter is easy to find online or drop by and pick up a copy at the front desk. Please consider this your personal invitation to stop by and check out the Council on Aging. Our address is 30 Sudbury Road, just a couple of blocks from Acton Stop and Shop. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. On behalf of the COA Board, I'm Jackie Friedman. Thank you for watching. There's a new email and phishing scam going around where you get an email from Netflix or it appears to be from Bank of America, but they're really trying to get your personal information. Here is Ann Westerheim of Ikaru to show you how you can protect yourself. Hi, I'm Ann Westerheim from Ikaru. By now you probably already know the cybersecurity basics. Protect your computer with antivirus software. Keep your security patches up to date. Use strong passwords, back up your data. The thing is, the bad actors know this too, and they've developed some new tricks using social engineering to trick you into divulging your personal information or bypassing your security. Cybercrime is now bigger than all other forms of organized crime, and it's important to know how to protect yourself. Phishing is a type of online scam where criminals send an email that appears to be from a legitimate company and ask you to provide sensitive information or payment. There are three types of phishing scams, brand impersonation, email compromise scam, and blackmail. In a brand impersonation email, you may get a fake message from Microsoft to update your password, or a fake email regarding a FedEx delivery. Amazon, LinkedIn, UPS, and Bank of America are commonly impersonated brands. 
In an email compromise scam, you may get an email that looks like it's from a trusted source, like a boss, attorney, or friend, but it's not. Beware that many people have lost money to fake wire transfer scams through email. If you're buying or selling a home, watch out for any last minute bank changes. People have lost their homes over this. Blackmail emails will contain threatening language and ask for a payment to prevent further harm. They can be very detailed and scary, but they're actually just mass marketed threats. Watch for a sense of urgency in the email, names that may be slightly off or other threats. Be extra careful opening attachments and clicking on links. So trust your gut and call a company directly to speak to someone so you can verify a request. Don't reply to the email and don't call any numbers listed in the email. Stay safe online and think before you click. We'd like to thank you for watching this edition of Talk of the Town. If you have a story idea or you're in a nonprofit organization and you want to be featured on the show, drop us a line. We also have many great sponsorship opportunities. Remember to support your local cable access. I'm George Cox. We want to thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. This is Kids Camp News from the April vacation. Our next kids. Bleh, you can ride this home if you want. Okay. I just want to ride it down the aisle. <laughs> well, maybe outside. A glass is crooked. There are so many great events and classes going on at the Akron.